pause for a moment. Listen. Beneath the sounds, beneath the movement, beneath your own thoughts, there is something. A stillness, a silence, an emptiness that is not absence, but presence. Now imagine this on a cosmic scale. In modern physics, we speak of the vacuum field, the so-called empty space that fills the universe. But this vacuum is not truly empty. It seethes with fluctuations, zero-point energies, virtual particles flickering in and out of being. What we call nothing is actually a vast ocean of potentiality, a quantum foam bubbling at the foundations of reality. Could this strange, trembling stillness be likened to a kind of cosmic meditation, a state of pure being, pure possibility, pure openness? And if so, what does that say about consciousness matter and the mystery of existence itself? In this video, we explore the meeting point of physics, philosophy, and spirituality to ask, does the universe meditate? In everyday language, a vacuum is simply empty space, the absence of matter, the void. But in quantum physics, the vacuum is anything but empty. Thanks to the uncertainty principle, even empty space is filled with zero-point energy, the lowest possible energy that a quantum system can have. Tiny particle-antiparticle pairs constantly appear and vanish, like waves rising and falling on an invisible sea. This restless foundation underlies all of existence, the electromagnetic field, the gravitational field, the Higgs field. Even the fabric of space-time itself seems to arise from deeper, fluctuating processes. And here's the strange part. This vacuum energy has measurable effects. It gives rise to phenomena like the Casimir effect, where two uncharged plates in a vacuum experience an attractive force, pulled together by the pressure of quantum fluctuations. What we call nothing is actually a deep restless something, a ground of being, without which no thing would exist. But what kind of stillness is this? Not the stillness of dead space or silent void, but a dynamic equilibrium, a trembling stillness, alive with hidden potential. This paradox mirrors ideas from ancient spiritual traditions. In Buddhism, particularly in the concept of shunyata, or emptiness, reality is described as empty of fixed, separate essence. But this emptiness is not nihilism. It is openness, interconnection, pure potential. It is the groundless ground from which all forms arise. In meditation, one learns to rest in this spacious awareness, to experience the stillness beneath thought, the silence beneath sound, the being beneath doing. Is it a coincidence that physics at the cutting edge and mysticism, at the depths of contemplative practice, both point to a pulsing emptiness at the heart of things, a nothingness that is not negation but infinite openness? From the vacuum field emerge the particles, the fields, the interactions that make up the known universe. In this sense, the vacuum is the mother of matter, the primal matrix from which energy crystallizes into form. Virtual particles, fleeting and uncertain, occasionally become real, given the right conditions. This has led some theorists to speculate that even the Big Bang, the birth of our universe, may have been a quantum fluctuation, a spontaneous bubble in the vacuum. Think about that. Everything we know, from galaxies to atoms to consciousness itself, may have arisen from a trembling of this cosmic stillness. In some speculative cosmologies, there may be countless such bubbles, countless universes blooming from the vacuum sea. Yet at the heart of it all remains the same paradoxical ground, emptiness that births everything. Here we turn inward. In meditation, mystics and practitioners across cultures speak of encountering a deep stillness, a still point, a groundless ground, a luminous emptiness that is somehow aware. This is not the absence of thought, but the space in which thought arises. It is not unconscious void, but presence, pure being, prior to identity, prior to content. Could there be a parallel here? Is it possible that consciousness, like matter, arises not as an isolated thing, but as a dynamic fluctuation from a deeper field, a field of awareness beyond the individual mind? In some philosophical traditions, like Advaita Vedanta or Mahayana Buddhism, Consciousness is not seen as personal or localized, but as universal, 
the open, still backdrop against which all experience appears. In this light, the vacuum field becomes more than a physical substrate. It becomes an echo of something even more mysterious, the awareness that knows it. Modern physics suggests that even space-time itself is emergent, a kind of condensate or network arising from deeper quantum informational processes. The vacuum field, in this sense, is not just a background, it is the fabric, the loom on which reality is woven. But notice, the loom is not fixed. It is a living, breathing dance of fluctuations, a sea of potential. Here, science brushes against the poetic insights of mystics who describe reality as a dreamlike display, empty yet vivid, without fixed substance, yet radiantly present. Could the trembling vacuum be the cosmic dance of Shunyata, form as emptiness, emptiness as form? Could the birth and death of particles, the arising and dissolving of universes, the flow of time itself, all be the ripples of a fundamental emptiness dancing? Now, we return to our question, does the universe meditate? Of course, we are using metaphor, the universe has no mind, no ego, no nervous system. But when we speak of meditation at its deepest, we are not speaking of technique or self-regulation. We are speaking of resting in the unconditioned, the ungraspable, the open, awake field of being itself. In that sense, the vacuum field, the zero-point C, is strangely reminiscent of a cosmic meditation, not an activity but a presence, not a doing but a being. It is the stillness in which galaxies swirl, the silence beneath the roar of creation, the invisible pulse holding reality together. And if consciousness at its root is aligned with this field, if awareness is a local ripple of this cosmic openness, then perhaps when we meditate we are not escaping the world, but tuning to the fundamental stillness of the universe itself. The vacuum field humbles us. It reminds us that nothing is never truly nothing, that emptiness is richer, deeper, and more mysterious than we can imagine. Science gives us one language to approach it, filled with equations and experiments. Spirituality gives us another, filled with insight, silence, and awe. But perhaps both are circling the same ineffable truth. That at the heart of all things is a mystery of presence, a no-thing that births all things, a stillness that holds all motion, a void that shines with potential. This is not an answer to be solved, but a mystery to be lived. The universe meditates, not in the way a person meditates, but as the deep, silent openness in which all things arise, play, and dissolve. When you sit in silence, when you listen beneath your thoughts, when you touch that quiet presence that asks for nothing, you are touching something ancient, something cosmic. You are not separate from the vacuum field, from the trembling stillness at the heart of reality. You are an expression of it, a ripple in the infinite sea, a wave of awareness in the great cosmic dance. So does the universe meditate, perhaps. And perhaps when you rest in being, you are the universe knowing its own stillness through you. If this resonated with you, share your reflections in the comments. Have you ever felt the strange peace of touching emptiness, of resting in something beyond words? And if you're ready to keep exploring the vast mystery where physics and consciousness meet, subscribe. Because the stillness is not far away. It's what you already are.